Hi girls and guys! Today I'm coming with this new time-lapse video of a uh, painting of a guy. Um, curious thing, this is my first painting of a guy. Um, I did have a few sketches, a few watercolor sketches and a few pencil sketches of guys, but I tend to stay away from them just because it turns out I make them quite feminine <laughs> and I tend to get them more cartoony or more in a manga manga style so I stayed away from this for quite a while but then uh, my friend Juan asked me if I would make a painting of him and I said of course just don't expect a big thing don't expect too much from me because I don't tend to paint, paint guys um, so uh, normally when I paint, I tend to paint animals, flowers, uh, I tend to stay away from from landscapes and from humans. And if I do paint humans, I tend to paint kids or girls more often. Uh, so this is quite new for me and the mediums are quite new for me too, so I thought it would be a good idea to just give myself a bit of a shake <laughs> and just put everything I'm not comfortable with in the same painting. What can I tell you about this painting? Um, I can tell you it's been done in four layers, uh, two acrylic layers and two oil paint layers. I don't know if I say that correctly. Um, anyways, this is the first layer and then I just tend to build up a bit more. After the second layer of acrylics, I was quite happy with the painting and if you would ask me if that's the first time painting, I didn't think it was looking that bad. But then I do tend to pay a bit more. If, if it would be a sketch for me, I would be just happy with what I have. But since it's a commission, since it's some, something somebody asked for, um, I do want to put a bit more effort into it and by the way when I talked to my friend and I showed him the first two layers he was really happy with it so uh, he said he ga gave me the freedom of doing whatever I want because when he asked for a painting I did actually tell him listen I'm not comfortable painting guys and I tend to get them quite cartoony or quite um, manga-ish and whenever I do sketch a painting of a guy, it tends to be one of those um, Hanfu guys. Hanfu is like traditional Chinese dressed up guys. So they're quite feminine because of the long hair and the sharp features. So um, they're quite feminine from my point of view. Uh, whenever I paint them, not in real life. Because, I mean, those people are drop dead gorgeous. But anyways, so... um. When I've done these two layers, uh, I'm up here, I'm almost finished, uh, I was quite happy with it, but I was not happy enough as to give it away, as to give it to somebody. So I have decided to just wait a bit and since I'm locked up in my house, I've decided to give it a try and just work two layers of oil. Now, hey, if it was... For me, I could go on and on with uh, getting more layers and more layers, but I do get to a point where even if I apply a new layer, I just feel like I'm not adding as much as I would want and you can't really see too much of a difference. And I know that's the beauty of oil, I'm learning from it, but it does get to a point where I think I'm not doing anything extra. So that's when I decided to stop. Anyways. This is the second layer and this is actually when I start to smooth out the skin a little bit to make it a bit smoother. I did put most details and um, most finishing touches into the face rather than the hand and the clothes and I kept the background one solid color because I actually wanted the focus to be on the guy's face since he's got like this beautiful beautiful face. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I do see mistakes all over and I'm quite judgy of myself, but I think all artists are. Everybody who's into art is actually almost never happy with how it turns out and they would also, they would always add more stuff or 
think they've made a mistake by adding st stuff to the painting. I just have to let it go. So this is the last layer of the painting and um, this is where I've decided to just add a bit more volume to the face by adding some more shadows and just giving a little bit of shine to the eyes and then also thin out the black lashes li lash lines because I realized they were too thick. Um, I do go over them quite a bit and that's when I said well you know what I have to stop working on it because if I add more details I might go over. <laughs> I might do more than I than I wanted to. I I would over render it to say so. And I just didn't want that. So um this is pretty much it. As you can see I didn't put too much detail into the clothes and I didn't put too much detail into the hand or the background. I wanted the face to be the main the focus the main focus of the of the painting and well i will tell you guys or maybe i'm not gonna tell you but anyways i hope juan is happy uh right now i can't give it to him and it has to dry out i have to i still have to varnish it um but yeah this is pretty much what i have i would also think that i'm going to do a recording on how i use the palette because i actually use a plastic palette let me guys if you know are interested in me talking about color mixing and palettes and I hope to see you next time. Bye!